Hi, my name's Adjuaba, and I'm going to show you a very simple way of getting ready. Very clean skin, and maybe a little bit of a pop of colour. So I'm going to run you through what I do. So I'm going to first start with a wash. I use Barbara Strum. You don't need that much, but I, I use quite a lot because I'm kind of quite obsessed with having really, really clean skin. You know, for anyone who lives in a very, like, kind of a city, there's a lot of pollution. We need to clean all of that mm, off. Put the water. You just need a little bit. You might as well massage it in. In the past, I really suffered with bad skin, so I think. That's why I'm quite militant on having clean skin. So then what I actually do after the face cleanser is I do um, a facial scrub. I think it's really nice for like smoothing out the skin. Oh, the heart on my ear, that was, I copied my cousin actually, we both had it and we got it together when I used to live in LA. We got it done together. Make sure to get it all off. Quite messy, but the decolletage, I think it's called, I can't remember. Dab, dab, dab. Look, fresh. You know, what's quite great, because I have no hair, I don't have to do much, really. I decided to cut my hair just because I was so bored of kind of trying to fit in, really and changing my hair to kind of suit everyone else and so I decided to kind of like shave it off as a like new start. So now moisturiser. I use quite a lot because I really like looking really dewy. Like I've been on holiday and I've kind of had been a bit sweaty. Just moisturise it in. Upwards direction, we don't want to be pulling our skin down. Do we? Age 26. Massage it in, wake that skin up. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? <laughs> and then I use these amazing glow drops that they just kind of make you look even a bit more glowy than a moisturizer would. Let's massage that in. As I have freckles, I don't actually use full coverage. So even when I do break up, I'm not, I kind of just, I don't really use concealer or anything like that. Now we use dew drops <laughs> as well as glow drops for a kind of highlighter look. I don't really tend to use that much foundation, so this kind of works perfectly in terms of, of making you look a bit more fresher. Just wake up this around here, make sure that's smoothed in. So I love this Glossier Cloud Paint. My God, in the things, don't they do this? Like, Glossier Cloud, Glossier Cloud Paint. This is the haze color. Cause I kind of look, I like to look almost as if I've like had a run. I'm a bit sweaty and I've had a run. So I'm a bit like, you know, kind of got a bit of color in my skin. And then I use a brush and I just rosy it in. And then, I mean, I spent a lot of time bleaching my eyebrows, but now I'm quite obsessed with having dark eyebrows. So I'm going to use this Revlon Color Stay in the brown and just pencil in a bit of my eyebrows. Make them even more darker. And then I use a Marc Jacobs Brow Tamer just to kind of brush through them. I personally like my eyebrows going in that sort of direction, kind of lifts up the face. There we are. So I'm not actually very good at these, but I try my best. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a eyelash curl. There we go. I am gonna do like just a pop of color. And so I use um, Marc Jacobs Highliner in this amazing, blue as you can see here um, and I'm going to do it in the waterline because Kess was not here that's my sister and she is the one that usually does the kind of the cat eye look because I can't do it myself 
if you have a sister or a friend and you don't know how to do it, get them to do it. But if they're not here, I usually do it in the waterline because it's easier. So I put loads on, kind of like that emo look, joking. That looks quite good actually. So now on to the mascara and I put loads and loads on. There we go. Look far more awake than when I started. Last step is the this lip lock, which is really good. Simple. I think when you're doing like kind of a little bit pop of colour on the lips, um, on the eyes. Sorry, that's quite nice to keep them quite simple. On the lips. I use the Glossier Cloud Paint on my lips as well, just to kind of give them a little bit of a kind of rouge look. Just a little bit here. Tiny bit of this beach stick by Charlotte Tilbury on the cupid's bow. I don't have any lip gloss, so we can just put a little bit here. Just kind of a little bit of a glossy lead. There we go. Yeah. I just think, you know, there's no really rules in applying makeup, I don't think. So I learned a lot of things from watching kind of makeup artists on set and just kind of seeing what they do, the more kind of simpler things, I suppose. Um, I'm watching my makeup artist, who I use all the time. She's helped me a lot in terms of what stuff that I can do myself. So there we are. A little bit of a rouge cheek pop of colour on the eyes, I don't know why I did that, that's not very attractive, um, and a simple kind of rouge and natural lip, and lovely dark eyebrows. I think I'm ready to go, and actually I'm probably just going to stay in this pyjama, because I think it's quite nice, um, I've got all my jewellery on, um, and I'm ready to go, so thank you so much for watching me try and apply makeup. I hope um, I did an all right job. I think it looks all right. Um, so thank you again. And yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye.